So I want to start by showing you a set of devices that I use for digital note taking with our planner. And I want to show you how they look and feel in each particular one. This is a quick review just to give you an idea as you're looking at this planner, looking at OneNote and trying to determine what you want to do for digital note taking. So we're going to be showing you the Surface Dual. We're going to be showing you the Note 20. We're going to be showing you the iPad, which is sitting over here and the Surface Pro and how I utilize each one of these. So first gonna start with the mobile devices that I use. So this year we've had some pretty awesome upgrades. The long weighted Surface Dual has now been introduced. And I did a video on this earlier in the year. There's been two recent updates that have come out since then and it's really made a big difference for how much I enjoy using this device. To me, it is it is the future of digital note taking, at least from a dual screen perspective, and it really aligns with what my goals are when it comes to digital note taking. So I'll show you a little bit about the device and why I think you might enjoy it. First off, the device, as you can see, two different screens. You have the ability to make these little shortcuts. So a lot of us talk about calendar integration and I show a video of how I utilize my calendar like on the iPad, but this has become awesome for me because now I can hit calendar and note and I can pop open my actual calendar and then I can pop open my notes, which I can easily pull open the calendar that I take all my handwritten notes in and see it side by side. So that way if there's an important task that I wanna make sure that I get reminded of in my electronic world, I can do that on the left side while I'm actually writing out and dictating my daily planning objectives in the notes. What's also really cool about the planner is I can flip it from, rotate it from side to side, and I can also go full screen. Full screen, I think, is probably one of the most enjoyable experiences because when I go full screen, I have the ability to see all my navigation on the left side and still have prime real estate on the right side for taking notes. And I can easily go ahead and zoom in and I can easily choose to write a note. Now, I generally turn my device sideways when I write and that makes the experience more enjoyable for me. I'm right-handed. But you get an idea of how you can navigate through this device and jump from page to page, either with your finger or the stylist. Um, I think this device has come a long way just in the few months that I've had it with the gestures and the updates that they made, and I'm excited to see what's in the future. If they can get this to be a better performing phone, I think Surface really has something going on here. Let's take a look at the Note. Now, the Note originally came out a few years ago, and when the device first came out, I was super ecstatic for this device because in my mind, this was the first device as a mobile phone, and it is an excellent phone, the camera, Everything about this phone is awesome. The writing experience has been okay, but recently they made an improvement where they can make the hand written legacy down to nine milliseconds. And this has made a huge difference for someone that really does note taking every day. The iPad is awesome at actual handwriting because it, there's like literally no legacy and it feels like you're actually really writing on the screen. You have that now with the Samsung Note 20. The other previous Predecessors are really good, but this one here just really comes over the top. And again, I can go ahead and I can write a note. Now, one thing I can tell you that I've experienced with this device over the Surface Dual is that this device is a little more longer and not as wide. When it comes to doing real estate of handwriting, having that more square space gives me a better representation of what a piece of paper naturally feels like. This here though is really good for sitting in the palm of your hand. It really fits well there and you can easily write right on the surface as you choose to. Now there's also a lot of great other functions as you have the ability to use the stylus to select notes, make gestures, do things in that nature uh, and you can go ahead and go ahead and select you can move those notes, you can erase those notes. If there's something you wanna highlight, you can easily do that. Having the ability to carry your daily planner with you wherever you go, especially in something that it can fit in your pocket, it's just awesome. And it really makes me more and more excited to tell you guys about digital planning and the benefits of it. There is so much you can accomplish with goal setting and being able to take your own notes. 
and mentally get those ideas down on paper or, or this case, ink them into a digital source is just huge. The last item before the iPad that I wanna show you, another Windows product, is the Surface Pro. Now the entire video was showcasing the Surface Pro. So I won't spend a lot of time on this. I won't actually get into any of the screenplay. But one thing that's really cool about this is there's this awesome hinge that you see right here, right? This allows you to tilt this screen at variable angles. Now, if you are in an office where there's a lot of lighting, I have found that sometimes taking notes on an electronic device is challenging. Being able to have this variable angle with me wherever I go allows me to adjust that screen a little bit so it's out of the source or it reflects the source slightly different but also what's really powerful about this is having the ability to be at an angle makes my writing experience more enjoyable as well and it also gives me the chance to be able to look at my subject or the person i'm talking to in front of me and be able to take notes just almost in real time to a level that I haven't before. So this device is pretty awesome. The last device I wanna show you is the iPad, which has been showcased in a lot of videos, but to me, it's still one of the most premium products for note taking for a lot of reasons. So let's take a look at that one. So one big disadvantage with using OneNote on the iPad is you do not have the side-by-side -side capabilities that you saw throughout the video with the Surface Pro or any of the Windows products but you do have the ability to do everything else you expected. You can easily highlight stuff if you choose to, you can erase, you have the lasso tool that makes it really awesome to move things wherever you need, and you can also type in the planner, and I can type a message. Also what's really slick about the iPad is the navigation bar easily allows you to use your stylus or your finger to move where you would like to move in the planner. As far as handwriting goes, you can easily come in here and you can handwrite So there's a quick look at how the planner looks with OneNote on the Surface Dual, the Surface Pro, the Samsung Note, and the iPad. Throughout the year, I will give you guys videos that showcase different pro tips and really improve upon your digital planning and note-taking experience. So by all means, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like the channel if you haven't done so already. Guys, thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.